Hi, it's me, Rachel Lynn, and today on Things on Thursday, I'm going to show you all of the things that I will be taking with me um, during Derby Week. If you are unfamiliar, I actually work at Churchill Downs for, um, actually regularly, but especially, namely this week for the Kentucky Derby. And um, this week is kind of a stressful week, and um, there's a lot of things to do and prepare so much more than just a regular day working out there. Now, regularly, I'm a kindergarten teacher. If you don't know, this is just something that I do on the side to supplement my income. This is actually a part-time job, but for Derby Week, it's pretty much a full-time job because there's a lot. I actually take off um, from working at school in order to work out there and um, make this extra money um, because it is extremely important to my budget. Now some of these things I take with me regularly. A lot of these things I just keep in my purse all the time, but during Derby Week I like to pare everything down. I don't want to have a big purse like I normally carry around with me, um, and so I will make sure to have certain items with me um, that I'll take out of my purse, and then there are added items that I like to take with me when um, we are working during Derby Week because bag checks are annoying and I don't want to have to worry about most of the stuff. Most of the stuff I'll take in a couple of days ahead of time, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the things that I will be taking with me, um, whether it's ahead of time or just in a smaller bag on the way in um, each day. So here are the things. Okay, here is everything laid out and I'm going to go through each item. The first item is a calculator. Um, all of the math that we do, and we're counting money, making change, um, all of that math is done in our head. And if you make any mistakes, you have to pay for those mistakes. So like for instance, um, just the other day, I was $10 short and I had to pay that $10. Um, so if you need a calculator, that is definitely something that would come in handy. Right here, I have an extra shirt. We are required to wear a white collared button down shirt. And when we go out to dinner afterwards, I don't like wearing my white shirt. I wanna wear something else. So I wear an undershirt and then just change my outer shirt into a different outer shirt. And this one is very small and compact. Although I typically keep this in the car anyway. Um, but that is something that I will definitely have with me to change into after work each day. Pens are definitely a must. The, these are my favorite type of pens. They're actually like the Pilot gel pens. These are my favorite. This is my pen. But I like to take extra pens with me um, because customers always ask, do you have a pen? And I'm always like, no, I don't have a pen, but I'm actually kind of lying because I've got my pen. But the pens walk off. So having some extra pens on hand um, is really helpful to people um, that don't have one. They need one. Another must is rubber bands. Keeping your money organized and um, arranged in a way that is easily countable is essential. So rubber bands to bundle up my groups of money so that it's easy to count. Another item that is an essential is my name tag. So yeah, that's my name tag. This one's magnetic, so I really uh, like this uh, much better than my Keeneland name tag because that one puts holes in my clothes. My um, employee ID, I've kind of blocked some things out here, but um, you can see I have very short hair here, and uh, this, was, this picture was taken a long time ago, but still works, I guess. Another essential is a lock and key so that when you take restroom breaks, or have to leave and take a break or go anywhere, you can lock your money up. Um, locking your money is very important because you don't want your money walking away when you walk away. So um, yeah, that's important. Some other items that are nice to have but not essential. Paper clips, just in case. Um, I'm not going to take this many, but this is just kind of the canister that I have. And then scotch tape is really nice. Um, it's a great thing to have, like if you ever get like a torn bill, which happens a lot more than you might think, um, then you can tape it up. Also, an essential is pennies. 
and nickels. So when we're given our money, we are only given change in dimes and quarters. So we actually don't have pennies and nickels. Now there's not a whole lot of um, change that we give using pennies and nickels, but the payouts for paying money have been um, odd amounts a lot more lately. So having your own pennies and nickels to kind of give some change out um, is really helpful. And um, I mean, it balances out, you know, I can put in 10 pennies and take out a dime and make my own change that way. And then that way I can give customers their correct change if it comes out to 83 cents or something like that. All right, now let's talk about some things that I keep with me all the time, but that are essential for the trek. Hand sanitizer, definitely essential. Um, dealing with money is very, very gross. And um, so keeping some hand sanitizer on hand is essential. And if you're gonna have that much hand sanitizer, then you're going to also want some hand lotion. So these are things that I always have with me in my purse, but that are definitely essential for working at the track. I also like to keep tissues with me all the time, but these, um, but this is actually something that you know you might want because if you've got to sneeze or blow your nose, you can have it right on hand. I also usually keep ibuprofen with me um, just about at all times. Um, looks like this is this is not expired. Actually, I think I've refilled this bottle. I'm not sure. It's still good. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I keep ibuprofen if I'm getting a headache or something, just the stress, um, being, you know, sitting up for a long time can put a lot of stress on your, your neck and your shoulders, or even just dealing with difficult people can uh, cause you to need some of this. So this is definitely something that's always needed. And then we wear white shirts, like I said, so tied to go pen is definitely the way to go, just in case. And then this right here is a little nail kit. So it's got all of these essentials. We use keyboards and there's a lot of dealing with those kinds of things um, and money and all of that can be really hard on your nails, especially when you're using hand sanitizer. Um, it can be hard on your nails and if you break a nail or something like that, it can be difficult to get through the rest of the day without filing it down or clipping it off or whatever you need. So having this on hand is very handy. Now I'm not sure about bringing this in through um, security I don't I don't know how tight security is actually um, but this might be something that I take in early just in case and leave it there overnight I don't have any eye drops but I do have some contact solution that I can use as eye drops because sometimes my eyes just might get tired and I'll need to um, kind of freshen them up just a little bit and then of course a couple of hair ties and a hair clip just in case my hair is bothering me, especially when your hair is as long as mine is, you might want something like this to just throw your hair up if you're sick of it being in your way. Here are a few more items that could be useful but that I didn't have on hand to show you right away. Sticky finger tag stuff can be useful for some people. I don't really like it because it just makes my hands messy. A coin holder sorter can come in pretty handy for keeping your money organized or your change organized, but I don't really use it. I just stack it on the counter in uh, certain increments and it makes it easier for me to count than keeping it in a, in a holder like this. One thing I wish I had but I did not was a fake bill um, marker. If it's gold, it's real. If it's black, it's not. Uh, this can come in handy if you um, are not sure if the bill is counterfeit or not because there are some pretty darn good counterfeit bills out there. A counter close sign is also very useful. We used to have these, but we're not really sure where they all went. So having your own can really come in handy. I don't have my own. Usually I just kind of write clothes on a piece of paper and set it up on the counter if I'm actually at my window and am closed for uh, various reasons. But if I'm not there, then obviously I'm closed. And the last thing would be maybe a derby hat. They can be crazy, they can be classic, but they're a lot of fun to have. I don't normally wear one, but my mom actually was once given a pretty crazy hat and somebody bought it for from her for a hundred dollars. Why not? One thing I did not mention in this uh, group of items is food and utensils and things like that. 
that is stuff that um, snacks and uh, lunch and things like that that is stuff that I will be taking um, as well but I did a separate video of that so if you'd like to know more about what food and things I am taking with me then you can go and watch Tuesday's video and I talked about all of the snacks and things like that that we'll be taking so that is all of the things that I can think of that I'll be taking with me um, there might be a few other things that might go in my bag last minute but these are definitely what I would call essentials to have with you when working out at the racetrack. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you think that I should take with me, if you think is essential for um, working out at the track, even if you have no idea, you might have an idea. If you're any type of cashier and know that like it's hard to get a break, then um, you might have some ideas of something that I might need with me. So leave me a comment, give me a like, and if you are not already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and you can follow my weight loss and debt-free journey and just about everything in between. So I will see you on the next one. Bye.